Hey everybody, it's Pam at the Paper Outpost. Hey, I don't know if this is gonna work, but we're gonna try it. I'm going to try and make a seal out of wax. But first I'm going to use, I guess the official way to do it with the little wax and seal stamp kit, which I got in a uh, grab bag at a thrift store. Yay, never used it. Time to play with the stuff that I have. Then I'm going to try and recreate the same thing with Crayola crayons melted with a lighter and a mask and eye protection. Okay, I have no idea if I am doing this, not recommending anybody else do this. I am taking this hit for the team. Let's see if I live. Okay. Um, I don't know what happens when you burn crayons. I read everything. This is non-toxic. I don't know if that also means non-toxic when burned. Probably not. Apparently, I don't know. I don't know. Don't do it. I'm going to do it. Let's see what happens. Okay, there you go. Um, so I just grabbed some paper. This is actually, I, I stole this from an, another journal, like a machine made um, journal that you buy, which can get sometimes a beautiful paper in it. So when you're at the thrift stores going, I don't need a journal, I make journals. Take a look at the paper inside because sometimes it's pretty cool. And I'm gonna roll with the torn edge look. I think I just like that look on it because I want it to look a little, a little old, you know what I mean? A little, little weathered, been around the block. Maybe it's an old, I don't know like letter from the Victorian days, something like that. I'm sure they all had torn edges, right? Yeah, sure, okay, okay, there we go. We have a torn paper, and I'm so excited. Okay, so we'll just, I don't know, we'll just like, I don't know, ink it up, let's ink it up. This is a vintage photo, inking quickly here around the little torn edges, just so it pops a little bit on, on itself. I think that will be nice. And then we will uh, get to melting now. I'm gonna not read the instructions to this, this kit. Are there instructions? No. Okay, maybe it's inside. Um, I'm just gonna do it and see what happens. Probably should read the instructions. Oh, you're feeling very bold today, aren't you, Pam? Yeah, let's just go in there, not read the manual and do it. Okay, well, how hard could it be? It's, this is what they used to do years ago. This is a great way to make sure everybody, nobody sneak peeks at your letter before the true recipient receives it, right? The old wax seal trick. Yeah. Okay, let's just make a just make a quickie envelope here of some sort. Not really an envelope. This is a, a letter that is sealed. So it's already looking very fancy. Now. Um, okay, so let's just do this. All right, I'm opening. Opening. Have no idea what's in here. We have some pretty colors. They're all very nice. Oh, there are instructions. Meh. Is, are they really instructions? Yeah, meh. <laughs> let's just do it and see what happens probably going to do this all wrong. You're probably saying, what are you doing? Why don't you just read the instructions? What's the matter with you? Which one would you like me to use? Rose or da Daisy? Not sure. Um, I'm going to use the Daisy because it has a lot of print in it. And this seems like a very easy, just screw it in model. Bear. Okay, I could do that. Everything went well. Let me, let me kick you a little closer. I want you to see what's going on with all this. A little smaller. Okay, right there. There's good. All right. Here's this. Let's just melt it. Where is my, <clears throat> here's me later. Okay. Make sure there's an adult present. Don't be burning down the house, silly willies. And um, let's try the, the intense pink one. That looks kind of cool. So this looks like it has a wick. So I'm assuming this is meant to be burned. So let's try. Okay, here we go. And we're burning and we're burning and we're waiting. And we're... it feels like lipstick. Don't know if lipstick would work too. I mean, all these things have wax in them to some degree. So I guess that's, okay, something's happening. Oh, it's it's dripping liquid. Oh, let, me, let me put that. Can you see it? Can you see it dripping? Maybe I can move the camera. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh, 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 come on, Pam. <laughs> Try to get the wax in the right place. Oh man, that wasn't the right place. Oh, see, I'm talking. Okay, there we go. Just, I'll make it big. Oh man, I'm all over the place now. But maybe it all just is fine once you... Okay, I think that's enough. Is that enough? Looks like it. All right, let's just give it a second. I, I think maybe you're supposed to wait a second. I just feel like waiting might be a good thing because if it's too wet, it might not be good. How long do we wait? I don't know. <sighs> that's a stinky candle. It is. Okay, should I just put it down? All right, down. Now don't move. 
Now the metal is cold. How long do we wait for this? Is it like on off? That would be in the instructions, right? Do you wait 10 minutes and then come and take it off? All right, let's look. <laughs> okay, here we go. Probably should wait. Straight up or tilt off? Tilt off? Straight up. Oh, oh, that's really pretty. Look, okay, maybe I could have put more wax down, but hey, that didn't take that long. Not at all. Big success, right? Yeah, okay. And uh, is, it, is it dry? Oh yeah, it feels pretty dry too. So I bet you could come along with some gilding paste, just, you know, if you were feeling gildy. Here's why I muck up my fingers. Okay, and uh, you should probably use gloves. Okay, and that will just amplify the design a little. Oh, isn't that pretty? Oh, that's really pretty. And what I was thinking you could do with these for junk journals is, obviously you could tuck them on inside because I thought this was gonna come out a lot fatter than it did. Um, but this could easily tuck into a junk journal. And um, you could put something fancy on the inside of the letter if you want, but hey, we're just learning concept today. Um, hmm. Maybe I'll, I'm just gonna put that on the edge. Why waste some good gilding, right? Just get in there and use it, Pam. All right, here we go. It's like, okay, that didn't quite go as planned, but oh, I'm not in the picture, not in the picture. Okay, there we go. I just gilded the top a little bit, gilded the bottom a little bit. Oh, didn't really gild very well there, getting her softened up around it. Nice thing about gilding wax is it is wax, so the heat of your finger will move it a little bit. Okay, very cute. All right, now let's try this in case you don't have all this, you know, you didn't score one of these babies at your local thrift shop, you know what I mean? Yeah, uh-huh. Uh, I think you can buy those online too, so, or anywhere, I'm sure at the craft stores and stuff. Let's try it without any fancy stuff. Okay, let me back up a little bit. Okay, that's good. All right, we're going in here. I'll take another one of these. Just some old piece of paper from a journal. Um, a man-made, of course a man-made. A man-made journal, machine-made. Um, you could use any paper. You could actually use uh, just uh, printer paper, too. I think that would look pretty. Um, if you don't have anything else, um, it doesn't have to be. You could use uh, avocado dyed or coffee dyed paper. That would look cute, too. And we'll just get here to the inking. Maybe, maybe I want to do it different. Maybe I'm going, you know, a little crazy. Um, how about we do a pink ink? Let's do a pink ink. Yeah, that might be fun. Worn lipstick, my old friend. Uh, a good solid quality pink. Could always use more pinks. Tim Holtz, if you're listening. <laughs> Seem to be a little shy in the pink department. I mean, we have a lot of blues. Um, you know, I've looked and there's a lot of blues, Tim. There's not so many pinks, but a lot of us like pink. So um, there's blue pinks and peach pinks and, and there's some of each, but there's a lot of blues, you know what I'm saying? And I um, could use a little more in the pink department. <laughs> All right, so I'll just do the inside quickly. Okay, so I, okay, let me introduce you to the crayons of the day. Now, um, I have, I just bought this, this was like a pack of crayons I bought at the thrift store. It was a buck and I thought, eh, we could play with this, see what has some fun. I think crayons get ignored in um, the art world because they're seen as juvenile or childish, but they are basically wax with pigment. There are possibilities here, people. Never rule out a good crayon. Um, I haven't played with crayons enough, and I don't have kids, so I'm not always falling over crayons everywhere I go, maybe making that strong association, but really, wax with pigment, and there you go. Now, there's a lot of cool videos on how you can take broken um, crayons and put them on a, um, like a metal tray and put them in your oven and then they'll make one big mass of a, like a colored crayon. Kind of cool things like that, but this is not that. No, this is just, we're doing a simple thing here. Very simple. Now the crayons that I got, you know, you get what you get at the craft store. You, you, that's the thing. So I got molten metal, which might mean it has glitter in it, which is kind of cool, right? Or a neon soup. Yeah, there you go. Um, let's see what colors you have. So I did pink, so I'm going to want something to go with the pink. Well, maybe we'll do one of each just to see how they look. Yeah, these look like glitter crayons to me. That's how they're passing it off as molten metal. We'll see. All right. 
it. What's that color? Do they have names? I want these colors to have names. So I, maybe they have names on them. Let's see. Remember, I really like the, remember the colored pencils had names? What? I can't see what I have here. Come on out. Come on out. Okay, there's like a burgundy brown or something. Do you have a name? Metallic red. Big, oh, there we go. Big Dip O Ruby. Okay, I think that might look kind of cool on there. Maybe I'll do a heifer. Oh, I could do a heifer. Oh, wait, well, let's figure out if it works, first of all. Okay, I think it's important to take the paper off. That is my, my um, Mr. Science judgment call here that when you're going to put a flame near... Can't get it off. Um, a, a crayon. Okay, I... I'm going to go for the, okay. All right, there we go. Okay, I don't think I'm going to use all that much, so just take off some of it. I don't want to have a big um, poof here. Okay, let's see if it works the same. I have no wick. I'm just going to try and melt it. Let's see what happens. And I might want to do a gold one beside it. Let's see, or maybe a brown one. That might look pretty beside it. Oh, that looks like a rose gold or something. What color is that? That is, da 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 da, for you crayon aficionados, alloy orange. There you go. All right. Okay, here it is, the big shebang. Let me get a little more down here. A little pinky up there. Okay, here we go. I'm scared. Okay, let me put my mask on. Yeah, probably, I forgot that, but you know, we got a lot of these hanging around, so I might as well put it on. Okay, I'm putting it on. Don't want to inhale toxic badness. No, I want to live, live a long, normal, happy life putting on my eye goggles. Okay, they're my readers, but you know, we work with what we have around here. I have a hair in my lip gloss. Hang on. Okay, it's gone. Um, here we go. Da, 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 da. Let me bring you in close. Sir, closer, closer, closer. Okay, let's take you on the side. All right, here we go. Here it comes. I, has, I hope this thing doesn't explode. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm going to hold it up in the air. Okay, what are you doing? What are you doing? I think it's easier with, oh, that's kind of pretty. It's nice with the, uh, it hasn't ignited on me. That's good. Let's make it a little bigger. Oh, my, <laughs> got hot. Okay, all right, that's okay. Don't be afraid, Pam, it's all right. Big girl. Um, okay, I think I was holding on to the metal thing. Don't do that. Okay, come on, you can do this. Oh, so, ah, ah. Nope, oh, we got, oh, we're like almost out. Okay, let's try it again. Melt, melt, melt. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's what we're doing. Three, two, one. Okay, just get a little hot. And where's that stampy thing? Where's that stampy thing? Oh, mats. I was going to show you how to do another stampy thing, but this, I got, I, we got to do it now. And down. Okay, I have no idea how long this takes. None at all. There were no instructions. Pull it straight off or peel? I don't know. We're going to find out. Okay, let's give a few more seconds. Three, two, one, lifting up. Oh, nice, huh? Okay, so now you're saying, oh, Pam, I don't have one of these things, so that's really great for you. Oh, I just thought of something else. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. I have two ideas for the stamper thingy. My first idea was get a spool and a coin. And a lot of the quarters have those cool images on them. I don't know if it will come up, but let's grab our old friend, Fabrifix. Just because I think it's strong. I'll just put a little glue here. Okay. And we'll glue the quarter to that. And we're, we're going to do this again. And then my other idea was what about some uh, buttons? Like they have pretty things on them. Maybe we could use that as a stamp. Who needs that fan? Well, let's not say that yet. Okay, so we have this so far, and that's that's very nice, and um, I, I like that. Okay, so let's just put that aside. Okay, you're over there with that one. Um, let's compare the two just quickly. First one with the wax from the set. Second one with the wax from a crayon. Okay, a what kind of crayon was it? Molten metal Crayola. Okay, let's go back in here. Let me just, I maybe I'll do two of these at the same time so we can do this quickly. Let me back up a little. Okay, okay. So I hope you're having fun. Hope everybody's well. 
Um, we are definitely post storm now. Everything is okay. We have the power back on. Um, neighbors have been checked on. Everybody's fine. Animals are fine. And um, just a little tree damage, a little fascia, fascia off the house, nothing big. Um, certainly not for the, you know, compared to those poor folks down in Sanibel, Fort Myers, Captiva. You know, they, oh God, it's so hard. And uh, bless their souls. We're definitely praying for them. And, uh, okay, so let us maybe do a different color. What do you want to do this time, sister? How about a blue one? Okay. And you might want to ink in blue just for fun. You don't have to. You could do brown. I think we've got enough ink, blue ink juice here. Let's see. Oh, I think I need a spritz of water. Wake this baby up. Yeah, there we go. I don't use the blue all that much, so it should still relatively have lots of color inside of it. Um, you'll know when you spritz and you don't get any kickback color, then you're just out of you're just out of um, ink and dye and stuff like that. So that's the best way to tell. Okie dokie. Yeah, I'm going to pull down my mask because I'm sweating. Sweating inside the mask. Okay. The back. We just don't know. But this is kind of fun. I wonder if the... Uh, this, this, this time for me to ink also allows for that fabric fix to dry and secure that little... Where is it? Here it is. Secure that little guy on there. Okay. Are you, are you stuck? Are you moving? Oh, you're still moving. Okay, we'll just give you a second then. Maybe we'll do the um, we'll do the uh, button first then. Okay, this is now demonstrating button with Crayola crayons. Maybe I'll try neon soup this time. Should we try neon soup? Neon soup. Neon soup. We're trying neon soup today in a very adult way. That's right. Don't let these crayons fool you. This is serious adult art going on. It doesn't have to match, but I'm, I'm just picking the matchy one. Just, I don't know. One less decision to make in life. There you go. And you can always accent it like with the gilding waxes and stuff. Um, okay, there we go. All right. Now, okay, here's my buttons. I don't know which one I'm going to use yet. So let me just put them here so we can... I'm thinking this one because it has a nice impression, but maybe I don't know what you're going to see. We'll just go with the flow. Okay, here we go. All right, here I am. Bring you a little closer. Okay, here we go. Um, let me just... Yeah, you put you back to work. You could do something. Since you're not stamping, you could be a paperweight. There you go. Okay, paperweight. Okay, perfect. All right, here we go. And melting. Melt. I'm melting. Whoop. Well, that's very nice. Okay, I'm over here. Got to go across the de Great Divide or it won't seal. So get a little on each side. Lots. I guess you... Oh, is my, my flame is out. Oh, very hot. Okay. Okay. All right. That's good. Okay. That looks good. You know, as far as I can tell. That's what I got. That's what it looks like. There was no flame. There was no smoke. Okay. So now get in here and do something. Pam, how about this guy? He looks good, huh? Okay. I'm just going to put you in there. I have no idea if this is going to work. There. In. I have no idea if that's going to come out of there. Or will it just take the wax with it? Maybe these have some kind of spray or something so that there's like wax release or something. We're going to find out. Okay. Three, two, one. Okay. Oh boy. Here we go. Oh, sorry. Oh. Oh. Yeah. That's what we got. Mm-hmm. So I wonder if there is something on there. What could we use? How about lip balm? Let's try that. All right. Um, that that might give some relief, you know. Uh, what we got here? Here's something. Let's try that. All right, we'll try a different. We're going to try melting more. Right on top of that. Why not, right? Sure. Right on top. And then I'm going to stick in it. Well, let me, let me, let me. Let me wax this up first a little bit. I don't know. Maybe that's not good. You won't get the same impression. But maybe it'll release better. I don't know. What do you think? Oh, can't see. What's going on? I'm lip bombing it. It's no color. Just going to melt it a little with my fingers. Get rid of the excess residue. Probably have way too much on there. Oh, sorry, Sunny. <laughs> Stand back. Mom's great. Okay, that, that has a little bit on it. Maybe just a little bit more. I think I wiped it all off. 
Okay, just a little bit. All right, let's see if that works. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, we're going to try again. Where is that lighter? Here we go. And we're lighting. Okay, we're melting. We are melting. Don't touch the metal parts with your fingers because it, it hurts. It, it's hot, okay? It's lighter and it's melting wax. It's doing its job. All right, that looks pretty good. Okay, let's try that. All right, now we're going to... Oh! Got it on my desk. That's okay. Don't worry about it. Probably pick it off. Okay. Here we go. Ready? Here it comes. All right. Let's try. And we're in. Ah! Oh, Lord May. What happened there? I don't know. Let's just carry on. Let's try that. Boy, that was a big bumble, wasn't it? Bumblicious. All right. Let me let that cool a little bit. Uh, I kind of goofed it on the side there. We'll see. We'll see. We'll just now. We'll just see now, won't we? All right, I'm going to let dry for a couple more seconds. Let's check this in the meantime. Yeah, that's pretty good. We're good there now. Okay. Now, maybe I can just pop it off as opposed to peeling it off. You know what I mean? Well, I've got to be careful though, Pam, because... Oh, I don't know. Oh, not looking good. No, no. Okay, now, that doesn't work. Okay. So, we're just going to try the next one. I don't know if it's... Should I... Oh, what what to do? Um, that definitely didn't work because I can't get it off this. So maybe there is something very special and fabulous about this that I don't know about. Does anybody know? Okay, let's let's try it one more way. I feel like I want to get rid of some of this as opposed to just coming in and redoing the whole thing. Let me just try this. I have a scraper. I'm gingerly scraping just to get rid of the excess because I think I have, I think I have excess here. Lumpy bumpy. Okay, we'll just put you over there for now. I have no idea what I'm going to do with that. Okay, just put it over there. Okay, so now, now, here comes the big, what else could I spray in there? <coughs> oil. What about oil? Uh, could I use like olive oil? Maybe. Hold on. Okay, I'm back and I have secured this. <laughs> Avocado, a coconut and avocado with sapphire fl flower, excuse me, blend, high heat smoke. Okay, and basically it's spray oil for cooking. And I think you could use regular oil too, but let's just try this because I figured maybe I wouldn't get as much all over the place. Sunny, what are you doing? I'm investigating the Kleenex box you just dropped, Mom. Okay. Um, all right, let's try this again. Okay, so flubber number one. Flubber number two. Maybe I waited too long. Do you think I waited too long? I don't know. Okay, I'm going to now, I'm just going to, that's what I'm going to do over here. You'll hear me. Oh man, was that a lot of oil. A lot came out. Okay, I don't, I don't think I need that much. Not that much. No, dab away. I think dab away is, yeah. Okay. All right. Is there still a oil? I could just oil it up with my finger. That way there's no bumpies. See the, um, Get something under my nail. Um, the um, lip balm gobbed it up in there. You know, it was like thick and gooby. So let's see if this is better. Okay, where's my, where is my, my great. Maybe we should try a different color. I'm, I'm bored of that color already. So let's go with um, green. No. Um, Neon pink? Why not? Oh, okay. See, it doesn't have to be all matchy match, you know. And let's just see what. Don't, no, hang on, sunshine. Do not eat the Kleenex. Okay, <laughs> go here. <laughs> all right, we we saved the Kleenex box and sunshine simultaneously in one move. He's now trying to spit out a piece of tissue paper out of his mouth. <laughs> Poor little guy. You got it, honey. Oh, you ate it. Okay, great. All right. Yeah, yeah. That's what goes around here. Okay, I'm getting this paper off. I know you're like, are you are you? thrilled to see if this is going to work. I kind of am. I want to know if this is going to work. Um, this may not work, folks. I just want you to know that we did this together and we'll just see what happens. Okay. Take you a little closer. And where's my little paperweight? Okay. Got you in place. Now I'm going to get my lighter, get my lighter and put my mask back on. Okay. I don't know. There's a whole of weird stuff in here. Okay. And light this. Okay, here we go. Do not explode or ignite. Okay, there we go. Okay. Maybe I had too much before. Let me try a little less, too. Well, I don't know. Maybe I didn't have enough. 
One more. Okay, that's it. That's all I'm doing. Okay, and where's my mighty quarter on spool? Here. And here we go. Ready? I'm pushing it a little harder, too. Now, maybe I should take it off right away. Let me take it off right away. What? <gasps> Nothing. Nothing on there. Let's see if I got an imprint. Might be a little harder to see. It's not truly. There is something. Oh, it is there. Can you see it? Let me zoom it in real close. It is there. Yeah, I can see New York. Something like that. Okay, looks kind of weird with the, the two different colors and half peeled off. Let's do one right from the get-go. Like, like we know what we're doing. Okay? I have this one already. Okay. All right, I'm just going to fold it up. I just want to see if this works. Don't, don't you want to see now? Me too. I, I got to know. Okay. Let me get the brown just for this little edge to see if it's going to ink. Okay, I need to put the cover back on you. You're like all naked, my little. The blue was tumbled glass, if anybody was wondering. My worn lipstick also has the cover off, and I'm back with the vintage photo. Just inking this up quickly to give it a little contrast. Okay, we'll just do the front. Just for that, just for looksies. Okay, now I think I think this is going to be okay. I don't know if it was the quickness, or the thinness, or the oil, but something worked. Okay, we're going in. We're going big. We're going deep. What's going to happen? I wonder if it's going to work with a, because these have really pretty impressions. Now that one's shot. Um, ooh, that's it. It's really deep. I don't know. Should we try it? Okay. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to squirt this. Actually, I'm just going to squirt a little in my hand. Oh, see, it comes out a lot. You don't need much, I don't think, like I've done this a million times. This is how much you need. I don't know. It, all, all I want to do is make the impression. I don't, I don't, you know, I'm not trying to, you know, oil up the, the, the sumo wrestlers here. I'm just like, so it doesn't grab. You know what I mean? That's all we need is a little release oil. Okay, here we go. Um, let's pick a color and let's maybe do, um, oh, that's blue is pretty. That might be looking nice on here. It's a bluey green. What color is this? Metallic seaweed for anybody curious. All right, we'll just try that one. Okay, here we go. Peeling, peeling. This is the hardest part, really. Um, getting this off there. These must be old because usually I think it should peel off pretty easily. Okay, there we go. We've got a good naked stretch of crayon. Let's come in closer. One more. Get it really close. Okay. And get this all the timing down. We're all oiled up and ready to go. Now we need to melt. Here we go. We're melting. Okay, here we go. Melt, melt. Oh, I think if you, yeah, you dip, point it down, it should melt where the point is. Okay. There's a little trick. Not too much of a little trick. So this seems a little thinner than the uh, the other stuff that I was using. Okay. Now we're going to take this and stick it in there and take it out. Okay. Stick it in there. Take it all the way. And stick it out. Oh, we got an impression. Oh, it did grab some. It did grab some. But let's see what we got. We got some impression. I mean, it's not bad. You know what I mean? If you don't have one of those other things, not bad. And the wax here, it seems to be... It's definitely sealing. Um, it seems to be a little bit more like absorbed into the paper, almost like a dye on the edges. So, oh, oh boy, there's the one from the set. Here's the one from the crayon of the metallic version. Okay, here's the other one. This is the crayon also of the metallic version. It didn't do that. Oh, maybe it's the oil that did that. That could be. That could be. Okay. Well, we got one more test then. Try it with, without the oil, with the original thing. No, that doesn't make sense. What am I trying to do? Um, so I think the oil, yeah. Okay, so let's. Mm, that worked. No, we already know that. Okay. So the oil, I think, bleeds, makes it bleed a little bit. So I'm going to try less oil this time. But I still got some, like, it's still stuck. It's still stuck. So that's not good. 
Um, hang on, back up. All right. Last flopper pants idea here. Let's see where we can take this. How to, maybe I need not to saturate it with oil, but just lightly, lightly brush it with oil. Yes, that is where I think we need to go with this. Okay, so here is technique attempt number 47. And here we go. Okay, there we are. Okay, so let us get, yeah, this is that uh, one we used. Be no, I'll use a different one because we, we want to try different things. Okay, how about this blue is pretty. This is a blue molten metallic. Okay, I think it's a blue. Is it a purple? Could be a purple. Bedazzled blue. Bedazzled blue. Okay, in case inquiring minds, you know. Um, okay, peeling. Peeling. Almost there. Almost there. Just going to use a little swipe. Like, is there enough on my hands? I don't know. We're just going to try it. Okay, where is my... Here we go. This guy. Let's try him again. Do you still have oil on you? Oh, you still kind of feel kind of shot. Okay, let me just get a little. Oh, man, way too much. Okay. So I'm just going to take the edge. Barely there. Okay. Just wiping it across the top. Nothing major, just so it gives that little bit of release. Where are my baby wipes? Okay, thank gosh for baby wipes. Okay. Oh, I can make things so much easier around here. All right, here we go again. All right, we are, we are anchoring. We are anchoring. We are anchoring. We stop rolling away. Okay, we are melting. We are melting. Where's the, okay, right. Here I am. Okay, come close. Okay. Okay, here we go. And poof! And poof! Okay, here we go. And, okay. Oh, no, there's something about this. Look, this is already, let's just check it. Maybe a couple more drops. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. And, yeah, I don't think it's the oil. It's not the oil because the oil wasn't even on it yet. Okay. One, two, three, up. Huh. Okay. Almost all of it came off. So we didn't need a lot. And if you have some fancier coins, maybe they have more grooving in them. But you can definitely see an imprint in there. Let me bring it down to, oh, this would be super close. Okay. It's in there. And it's a little oily. But it's in there. You can read words. They're backwards, but they're words. Um, where's that Kleenex? Oh. So... In a pinch, this, oh, I probably just got rid of the entire, no, not bad, not bad. Um, oh, I wonder if I, uh, if I put the, oh, back up there, way too close. Um, I wonder if I put this on, if you'll be able to see the imprint better. Let's try. This is Gilding Wax, Metallic Paste Pent Art in gold. Yeah, okay, here we go. It smells good, too. Okay, let's just see. Take it close. Watch the excitement. See if we get anything. Oh, yeah, it's really close. Let me put you down. Okay, here we go. Just lightly across. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, okay, we just entered cool world. See? It, you can all of a sudden see the detail a lot more. It kind of came out a little weird, but we got 1788. That's cool, right? I mean, if you don't have any toys to play with, you play with what you got. You just get in there and you play with what you got, okay? None of this, I don't have anything to play with stuff. I don't want to hear that anymore. If you have a quarter and some olive oil and a spool, if you don't have a spool, you could use the, a cap off your glue stick. You know what I mean? You just need something long and tubular. And uh, you are good to go. So I, actually, I don't know. That one's actually pretty cool. I mean, I think it's right up there, you know, with the stuff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now that one has the weird blossom around it, but it's not bad. And it did seal. This did seal. It's very thin. This nice and thin to go in a journal. No problem there. Um, a little thicker, but not too thick to go in a journal. Very nice there. And this one, also very pretty. Have I got any more of that gold stuff? Where is it? Where is it? Wait, finger. Okay. It just really helps you highlight some stuff. You can go around it too. It's all right. See, it just makes it pop. Um, 
And one of these will last you a very long time. Uh, so there you go. I hope this was fun. It was a blast for me. I, I just, I love exper experimenting with you guys and you guys are open to play with stuff. It's fun. So I would just love to see one of these maybe on the front of a journal, maybe tucked into a pocket. Wouldn't that be cool? Um, that's probably illegal to do, but don't tell anybody. It, my name is Fred and this is my video. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, anyway, keep having fun, guys. Um, you want to hear a word from Sunshine? Do you have anything to say, Sunshine? Um, where are you? That's, oh, there you are. He's behind me on his little mat ski. Hold on. Sunbun, come here. You got something to say? Do you have any um, public service announcements? You do? Yeah. Oh. yeah. Yes, I do. Okay, please rotate me. Okay, slide me in slowly, Mom, slowly. Hello, everybody. Sunshine here reporting from um, Storm Center. Yes, it's very important to have snacks during the storm. We had a lot of chocolate. I wasn't allowed any chocolate. No, 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 no. Don't give your dogs chocolate. Bad. Mom ate a lot of chocolate. Yeah, it was pretty sad. I, I can't look at her anymore. Mom, I'm, I'm, I'm disgusted with you. I'm, <laughs> yeah, Mom was pretty disgusted with herself, too. But we did some good things. What did we do? Okay, so we knew some families that had a hard time and we, they were struggling a bit with the storm, so we gave them some stuff. Yeah. And um, um, so we have a really nice neighborhood. Everybody pulls together. And um, we lent out our generator. And okay, now, Sunny, this is not just about how noble and amazing you are. No, I'm talking about you, Mom. Okay, this is, you know, what are we going to do? We're going to pray for everybody who's really struggling because there's some people who really, really got hit hard. I'm praying now. Yep. Feel free to jump in. All right, we definitely pray for them. And um, we're hoping that um, times are going to get better and everything's going to be okay and we're going to keep crafting and have fun and we're going to hope everybody is able to find some fun crafty time. Yep, would you agree? Yes. And, and what else would you like to tell them? Um, I got a small haircut. Yeah, small. Mom trimmed around my eyes. It was very gentle, and I get two treats after it. That really helps me calm down, and I stay still, because they're really good treats. Yeah. They're like some kind of dehydrated organ thing. Yeah, I don't know. It sounds awful, but it's really good. Yeah, let me show you around. Show us. See this nice close trim. Yep. That's the side. This is my good side. It's my good side. Yep. <laughs> Thank you, Sunny, for showing us your good side. Oh, anytime. No problem. Um, okay. So, um, did you tell them about the newsletter? No, you tell them. I'm just going to have a snooze right here, maybe. Okay. Um, if you don't know, we have a free monthly emailed newsletter where you get a free digital image emailed to you every month, a checklist of supplies, note from the bookmaker, which explains what a junk journal is and how to use it, um, junk journal tips, updates from me, all sorts of exciting things. Oh, did you not tell them about the, hey, oh yeah, everybody, there's an October special, 40% um, off of our Halloween digi kits. And uh, I think there's three official Halloween and one with like vintage anatomy, which sort of looks like Halloween stuff. So we popped it in there too. 40% off those. If you want to get them, grab them. Um, that's good for the month of October. And it happens automatically. And you don't need a coupon. And you don't need a code. Oh, I'm going to now curl this way. Okay. All right. I'll tell them the rest. We have videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, 7 a.m. Eastern time. Why are you always shouting up my nose? This is my nose. And, um... Etsy shop. Uh, we, we have journals and bundles when they're ready. And we have fundals, which are collections of old and interesting papers to use in your... I will now yawn and demonstrate good oral health. There it was. Yep. Did you see it? <laughs> and uh, uh, I have DigiKits, which are uh, computer files that you purchase. And uh, you, can, you, you can print them out at home. And they're all sorts of... Uh, oh my God, have we heard this before? I like Please, Mom, not again. Not with the whole sales pitch at the end. But how else are they going to know? Maybe they're new. Oh, I know. I get it. And um, 
um, DigiKids. They're themed five pages each, and you can print them out at home. If you don't like to print, I also offer a print and mail service where I will print out 10 DigiKids for you. That means um, there are 50 pages printed on lightweight cardstock, and uh, you just give me the names of 10 DigiKids, and you can send me that via Etsy message or email it to Pam at thepaperoutpost.com. And uh, then I will print, then all you do is buy the print and mail option. You don't, tell them what they don't need to buy. Don't buy the individual kits, you don't need to. Um, okay, so yes, it's a one flat fee. It includes priority mail shipping as well. And we have an Amazon shop. If you're looking for cool uh, supplies or things that you see me use here, you may find links to them there if I can find links to them. And um, that is an affiliate link, but what it means is that you don't pay more for the items because um, you buy them through me, um, but it does help our shop survive. So thank you very much. Um, thank you very much. And uh, merchandise shop. Oh yeah, it's like a holiday site. So if you're looking for presents, um, what do you get? If you like the phrase, create with reckless abandon or everything is a craft supply until proven otherwise. There's still craft supplies. Um, you can get that on a t-shirt, sweatshirt, zip hoodie, mug or tote and or a water bottle. Um, then where can they find us? Uh, you tell them, Mom. Okay, Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, and Facebook group, right? Come and join the Facebook group. We're having a lot of fun over there doing weekly and monthly challenges and loving to see what you guys make from these videos. And we all inspire each other. Thank you so, so much. And remember that fun can be simple. Okay, I think we've seen enough of your nose. What? No. How about the eye? Take the eye. Um, <laughs> and remember to create with reckless abandon, everybody. And we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.